have a special treat to cap off our Monday afternoon today. We're learning more about the art of Japanese drumming. It's called Raiden Taiko. And we are joined today by a familiar face, of course, Lance Yamada. Great to have you on. Thank you. Except this is a very different thing yeah, today. Yeah, the Andre's outfit, yeah. No Andre's today. I feel kind of less, I need more clothes on. Well, you do have less clothes on. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Yeah. Tomorrow will be different. <laughs> and of course, joining you, uh, there are two other members, but there are more members in total, but just three joining us today. So Lance, uh, of course, we have Kaz Duffacy. Uh, it's great to have you here. Thank you. And Kathy Levine, it's great to have you here as well. Yeah, so Lance, you have to get us started by telling us a little bit about how this was founded. It's been around for 10 years, this group. Yes. Let's hear about it. Yeah, you know what? Um, we started about 10 years ago. There was uh, two gentlemen that were <clears throat> started the kind of vision uh, they wanted to have a taiko group, which was uh, Roy uh, Inoue, and then George uh, Ueda was a really good part of it. And then we had a conversation with myself, and then we brought another um, another gentleman who was quite interested at that time, Les Tabata, and we sat down and we kind of see what we can do, how many people would be in, uh, actually interested in in performing a group or even just doing a workshop to see what you feel like if you want to continue afterwards. So we did a workshop with uh, Qatari Taiko out of Vancouver, and they've been around for years and years and years. They're more a traditional uh, Taiko group, and uh, they came up, did a workshop, and then we found that uh, the people that were in the workshop, which we still have some members here, um, went from there, and actually we formed a group. Ten years later, Ten here years you later. are. Did yeah. you think you'd get ten years in? This is amazing. It is, it, it is a commitment, right? Yeah. There's, um, you have to be pretty good pretty fit if you have a music background that's a bonus and that stuff but the whole idea is it's uh, it's a stress relief too right it's body movements it's uh, musical uh, beats inside and and you pound your drums and take stress away if uh, you have a stressful job it'd be perfect for you so we're going to hear from them in a minute but right now we're looking at some pictures here Lance maybe you can tell us about these yeah this was uh, I did a workshop in uh, the Buddhist church uh, under the uh, ride in Tycho and we did uh, a bunch of kids workshops and they came came around and they did like uh, we had about 30 people 30 kids in the in the church and then we did some a uh, couple schools uh, the Hefty Creek school we did a, a little show out there and that unfortunately would fold the uh, next week um, we were always go to the uh, Canada Day we're always first one on uh, we always get invited to the international uh, festival uh, day at uh, the university. Uh, we do lots of schools as well. We've done functions. Um, we've done parades. We're on floats. Uh, we've done a ton of events, and we enjoy it. And that was part of our mission: is to bring Taiko out to the community and uh, show awareness to the Japanese community. And you don't have to be Japanese to be a member. No, you don't. No. And you just, you know, the thing about it is, is uh, we want to get everybody involved. If everybody's interested, all you have to do is be a KJCA member, right? And uh, and away you go. We have a couple workshops that we do in the fall, right? Uh, from there, we do apprentice and see who would like to continue and who just wanted to do just the workshop and get a good workout. And hopefully, we'd like to get some members involved. What does ride in Taiko mean? Uh, thunder and lightning. Fantastic. Yeah. So we have three of you here. How many in the group normally? Eight. Well, we're right? up to nine, I nine think. Nine now? You're up to nine. Yes. And today we're going to have a bit of a performance, but we also want to let people know that you're having a couple of different performances. Uh, the most uh, sort of structured one is coming up on the 14th of September. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we're really excited about that. We've been ramping up our practices and everything. September 14th at 2 p.m. at the True Clock Tower. Uh, tickets are very limited because it, uh, the theater only holds about 225 people, right? So we want to get tickets, we want to get them fast. We are selling them at Andre's, they're $8 each, they're going to go really quick. Uh, they will be also available at the Japanese Cultural Center in September. Uh, you can phone if you want to. Uh, you can see some information on the website as well. You can go to Ride in Taiko on Facebook and search that and there's information there as well. Fantastic. I don't want to run out of time. We have about three minutes, so I'm going to let you get started with your performance and then we'll come back at the end. Thank you. Okay. Good day! Matsuri Taiko! So... so 